Good morning, stampers and crafters. Welcome to our online class. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to make this awesome hot cocoa for two gift set. Super easy to make, super fun. It is also part of a project that I created um, the card for our Stamp Out Breast Cancer at Home fundraiser this year, which is a little different than normal years. And I'll tell you about that in a minute. It is also our uh, Stamp It Demonstrator Group's Halloween slash Christmas uh, blog hop which means that um, there are tons of great ideas. If you click on the resource page of this video, you will um, see tons of awesome ideas from my Stampin' Demonstrator group, crafting ideas, and great way to get the inspiration and the juices flowing. If you are um, in the Northeast like I am, it is a merry Halloween. <laughs> if you're watching live, happy Halloween. Uh, we, just had a, we just had our first snowstorm of the season yesterday. Uh, it was beautiful and yet interesting all at the same time because our trees still have foliage on them and my mums were still beautiful up until that moment. So uh, it was a very interesting storm and uh, it was a, it's very pretty at least. It's cold. I'm not quite ready for winter, but uh, it's very pretty. And with that, let's get started with our stamping. Okay, so this is what we're going to be making today. I, I just, I absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. Okay, somebody told me they don't have sound. Let me just make sure that um, the sound is working okay. Um, la, 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 la. Let's see if I can figure out how to do that while you guys are checking this out. And okay, I'm showing sound. So um, give a shout out if you hear me, just so I know that that's um, not on the sound that I need to be working on something. Okay, so... For starters, this is, I'm going to start with this card. I'll show you how to do this cool insert for the envelope as well. Um, super easy to make. And this is part of my um, Stamp Out Breast Cancer fundraiser. And the Stamp Out Breast Cancer fundraiser is something, a big event that we hold every year. And this year, obviously, we weren't allowed to do it and well, we weren't able to do it in um, person. So we're doing an at-home version where um, if you donate to our cause, and you can do this right on the resource page or at stampwithtammy.com, you are going to get not one, not two, not three, but four collections of uh, tutorials of hol holidays and all around tutorials. They are amazing. Just our little way of saying thank you for being a part of this awesome event with us. Cancer is not taking a break for COVID and neither can we. It is an awesome cause for a, it, we, it's very much needed right now more than ever. So please consider a donation if you, if you haven't already donated to the cause or a cause. Okay, so you guys ready for some uh, absolutely adorableness? Okay, so I have to put this sideways so you can see it on the camera. But this is, um, it's, a, it's a cup holder, right? Coffee cup holder. And uh, we actually sell these. I'll, I'll tell you about that in a minute. But um, inside, I've decorated these two cups. I'll show you how to make the cups, how to decorate the cups, and how to make the, the holder. But I also have um, two packets, not one, but two packets of hot chocolate. And we've got some marshmallows in here. I would have loved the mini marshmallows. I just, I couldn't find them in the store. So regular marshmallows it is. And they fit beautifully right in here and they match our card. So let's get started. We're gonna start stamping um, the card and then I'll show you how to do this as a quick, easy insert for the envelope. So for this, I'm using the Warm Hug stamp set. And it's actually the, uh, the dies as well. Um, the dies match all of the stamps here and we're um, using the um, heartwarming hugs designer series paper which is on sale so let's start with our stamping i should note that sale ends today in case you, in case you're one of those that likes to wait till the last minute or just completely forgot uh that 15 percent off sale ends today so don't miss out all right so i'm going to start with some memento black ink and i'm going to stamp our words there were several really cute words um for you and this one's on me which would make a great starbucks gift card if you like that too um and then warm hugs all season long you could use any or all of those and then a coffee cup i'm just stamping on some scrap paper and then i'm going to take some old olive ink so i'm using old olive cardstock from stampin up so the old olive ink matches that it's matchy matchy we like that <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to stamp. We have the insert to the mug, and we're just going to stamp that inside. So now our, we have a cute little green mug to match our project. And then we're going to go ahead and cut that out with die cuts. I'll bring in our stamp and cut machine. Okay. 
And uh, I've got the sandwiches just labeled on the, the platform that comes with it. So it backwards so you can't see the number one. They're all numbered. It makes it really easy. We've got one and die adapter two and then a cutting pad and then our scrap paper right on top. And we'll take the dies. So these coordinate with that stamp set. These are the um, warm wraps dies, they're called. So let's go ahead and we're going to want the circle and we're going to want that cute little coffee mug because these little dies, all these little pieces cut out the stamps that are in the stamp set. So there is no fussy cutting. I know you guys love that. <laughs> I personally don't mind fussy cutting, but I know if there's not a die set that matches some of you are really, really loving those dies. We'd rather, rather do a die or a punch than a, than a fussy cut. All right, so let's go ahead and I'm going to take a post-it note just to hold that in place once we line that up. And the same with the coffee mug so that that die doesn't wiggle around on us and cut not cut where we want it to. And then we'll go ahead and take one more cutting pad on top and cut that. Rock on, Mary Lou. She's absolutely right. On behalf of the warriors and survivors everywhere, she says, thank you all, and this is to you guys, for all of you who have donated, and congratulations on your 13 years, Mary. That is just awesome, awesome. I'm, I'm just, my heart, to all of you, to all of our survivors and our warriors out there, this is an awesome, awesome cause, and I believe in it very much. Through the years, our team has raised over $45,000 for Making Strides Against Breast Cancer, which is the Make for American Cancer Society. It is an awesome cause. They do a lot of great, great programs. And it is very much needed right now. Okay, so that has cut out perfectly our uh, pieces that we just stamped. And we're even going to go a little bit further here and take this die. It's, um, it's got a little stitching on it. This is from the set two and cut that out of some real red cardstock. And just because it's really hard to see um, the dies, a lot of times when the dies are, um, you know, they're in the pack, it's hard to see them. It's hard to kind of get an idea of what they what they actually look like. So here it is. This is the warm hugs. You can see the stamp set and the dies there, all the dies that come in the set and um, what they are, you know, what they cut out there. You can see that they cut out all the little the images that match it. Super cute. Love it. Okay, so now that we've got that cut out, we are um, going to go ahead and work on the rest of our, putting together the rest of our card. So I've got um, a strip of old olive here, and I, I should also note that I have all of the measurements for everything that I'm creating today on the free PDF. You'll find that on the resource page. Um, I have a resource page with every online class that I do. And you can find it by clicking on the uh, link in the video's description, whether you're on YouTube or Facebook. And welcome everybody, no matter where you're watching, be sure to subscribe. Or you can go to stampwithtammy.com. If you click on the free video classes, hundreds, hundreds and hundreds of video classes there. I, uh, I do two a week, um, most weeks, and just absolutely some great stuff. And I absolutely love doing it. So very fun, very fun. Okay, so I'm using the, this is the Labels Pick-A-Punch. So you can um, cut strips of paper different sizes, and there's two different toppers here that it will punch out. So you just decide what size you want your paper and um, which of the toppers that you want. And then we're just gonna slide that right in. And I like to punch upside down, so when I slide that in, I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn it upside down because that way I can see exactly where it's lined up. And then we'll punch it, and it's got that awesome topper. So all the supplies that I'm using today are available um, in my online store at stampatami.com. But if you want to um, find something quick and easy, just go to the resource page. I have all the, the quick links there. If there's you know something that you really, really love and you don't wanna have to you know go into the search box on the online store, it's a quick link. And it will give you all the information on that. All right, so next we're going to take and emboss this with, this is called uh, Wrapped in Texture. These are impressions folders. They're cool, they're, they're made for the dies. Um, you know, so the die sets has the wraps, so they're small, but we have two different designs in here that we can use for the wraps, and I'm going to use it on the background. And it's actually part of that heartwarming hug suite, so super, super cool. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in there. We'll pull that 
die cut machine right back in. We're gonna change the sandwich this time. And I'm gonna take out the thin die adapter. I am pretty sure this isn't a 3D. If it's a 3D, we have a special plate for it. I think it's a regular one. Yeah, okay. You can always tell because if you start to turn it and it doesn't go in, it means it's a 3D and you want the special plate. The special plate does come with the, the, the die cut machine. Okay, so that gives us this awesome texture. It's super fun, and it's fun to do on the wraps that go around the cups, too. All right, now we have all of our pieces cut. And we can jump into um, doing our assembly. So I've gone ahead and I've just uh, pre-cut and folded the... Um, card base, the measurements again on that free PDF, and I put a piece of white inside to cut to um, to write on or stamp on, however you'd like that. I pre-cut um, these pieces and we're going to assemble um, our base, our card base layers with some Stampin' Dimensionals because I like it to pop up. You could also do it flat, especially if you're uh, mailing and don't want to do the hand canceled uh, mail, especially if you're mailing a lot of them. You could totally put it on flat and that would also look well as two but I love when they pop up and they're they have a lot of dimension to it and it just looks wicked cool right so this designer series paper is part of that heartwarming hugs suite you know what I'll show you that suite real quick just so you can see what's um, in it this is the suite here and you can see the, the paper up there um, on top and um, some of the pieces that we've already used but this, um, this designer series paper is part of the um, Stampin' Up! 15% off sale, and that sale ends today. So this is Heartwarming Hugs designer series paper. It's 12 by 12. You can see I have very much loved this paper, <laughs> and I have another order on pack, on, on, uh, on order, another pack on order, because I've used so much of this because I love it, and it's just so fun. It's traditional holiday colors. Um, it's just one of the many that are on sale in that 15% off sale. So um, if you have forgotten about the sale, it ends today. Today's the 31st. So if you're watching live or watching the replay the same day, you want to jump over and take advantage of that in my online store as well, stampwithtammy.com. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and finish our assembly here. I um, put this little ring, I layered it onto the uh, red circle. I used the mini dimensionals for that. If you, don't, if you don't have mini dimensionals, then you could cut um, like a dimensional in half or use the edging on a dimensional for that. But the minis are a perfect size for that tiny little area right there because it is a thin little border. Sorry, I had a little excess hanger. I'm not quite sure what I put it on that that's stuck to it, but that's okay. That's the right height. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go ahead and stick that right onto the center. And if you are just jumping on and joining us, thank you for joining us. This project is both um, this card that I'm making right now is the card that I made. Um, all of our team, our Stamp Out Breast Cancer team, made a um, made a tutorial to put together for our collection, our collection of four for the um, at home event for you guys to just fill you with inspiration. And this is also my, um, it combines with the gift set we're about to make. And the gift set is my Stamp It Demonstrator Blog Hop project, which means it's Blog Hop Week, which means not only will you be inspired by all of the breast cancer freebies that you get when you donate, but you will also get to pop on over to my blog for free and take that blog hop tour and check out all of the awesome projects that um, my, my stamp it group has been making for Halloween and for Christmas. This is what I know I, I, I did the little Christmas, but you'll see a lot of Halloween ideas. It is Halloween. I'm, I'm sorry, not Halloween fall. It is fall because <laughs> it is, it is Halloween right now. I think we were doing Thanksgiving and fall, but I wanted to go Christmas. Um, so I just put some dimensionals on the back of these and popped them up. There we go. And then last but not least, I am going to take some wonderful gems because they're wonderful. These are super fun. So they're um, red and clear, but they also have some glitter in them. So it gives it just a little bit of pow, just a little bit of, you know, that something, something extra special to put on there. 
And you could go with the clear or the red here, either one goes really nicely. I should also note that um, I have these. Um, you, get a, you get a pack of these in my uh, curvy kit, my curvy bundle kit. So um, this actually ends on the second, which is Monday. Monday's the last day that you can purchase this. It is a kit that I put together with a curvy celebrations bundle, which will be releasing in my online store on Tuesday. If you didn't um, do the, uh, I have a special offer on it. So if you do that, you're going to get the full bundle and you'll get these card kits and you're going to get these um, wonderful gems as part of that kit. So that's pretty awesome. Stampwithtammy.com. There's also um, a link on the resource page, I believe. You'll find it on the specials. So wonderful gems, they're called. We're just going to attach a couple of these. Let's see. And they're two different sizes of each color. I'm going to go with the larger one, although you could use the smaller if you wanted to. And our card portion is complete. So um, I also did a matching envelope. I used that same Heartwarming Hugs Designer Series paper because I love it. And it's really fun to use. It's really, really sweet. What I did with this is I took, and this is um, envelopes dies is what they're called. And they are made to cut insets into your envelopes and to cut these decorative edges for the inside. But you could also use them for the outside. I actually did them for the outside on the, um, or show you how to do them on the outside for my uh, heartwarming kit. Um, for my curvy, oh my gosh, I'm just drawing a blank on all of For the curvy class kit, the curvy um, class, yes, curvy celebrations. Thank you. So we're going to take the, um, and I do have the measurements here. Um, this is the Oops, no, I want the second largest, the second largest envelope. So there's different sizes here that you can use, or you could just do a decorative edge. You can do inserts. There's also a stamp set that matches this. It's really fun. I have all that information on the resource page. So the second largest, I'm going to go ahead and put that on some of the heartwarming uh, hugs designer series paper. Just take your scraps. This is a great way to use your scraps and they match your card and it makes it really fun. I'm going to run that through the die cut machine and it's going to give us this really fun cut. So then we'll go ahead and attach that. Now I just use some uh, seal adhesive to attach that. Because this is my um, Stampin' Demonstrator Group's blog hop, we have a special giveaway. If you um, head on over to my uh, resource page after you watch this video and you will be able to enter special giveaway. Um, it is a blog hop entry. I'll tell you about it in just a second. But also, um, if you are watching live, I have a live prize giveaway too. You just want to leave a comment here. So you can use your bone folder just to kind of reinforce that. But first, I'll just find the fold. Okay, so I just slid that on the inside using some seal adhesive. Okay, there we go. Now we've got the fold. And then just take that bone folder and we'll reinforce it. And now we've got a beautiful inset to our card and it matches and it's super easy. So those are the envelope dies to make, to make those super cute matching, matchy, matchy. That one definitely matches. I got to use the same. This one I went off a little bit, did something just a tiny little bit different. Super fun. All of it. Super fun. All right. So now let's make this gift set. So I mat, I, I made this gift set to match and um, I wanted it to, you know, this was my blog hub project and the, the card was what I made for um, the breast cancer fundraiser and I wanted them all to coordinate. Um, and so because of, it is my Stampin' Demonstrator Group's blog hop today. We do this once a month. It's a great time to get some inspiration and ideas fall. I know I might've said Halloween earlier, but it's actually fall, even though it is Halloween right now. So uh, we are giving away a full boho indigo kit, which is a $70 value. All you need to do, it's free to enter, is just pop on over to the resource page um, on my blog, stampitami.com with this video, and leave a comment with the hashtag Stamp it Contest, and you will automatically be entered. You get one entry per person, and you can enter on every single uh, blog in the hop. Uh, you get an entry for each one, one for each one. Also, if you leave a comment and drop a comment here, whether you're live on uh, Facebook or YouTube, and you drop a comment, I have a, a, a set to give away here. It's the cheers to you. Um, and the cheers dies and, um, 
the Sip Sip Hooray. These are actually no longer available, but they're perfect for this time of year, right? Especially for uh, New Year's coming up. And so they're very hard to get. And all you need to do is leave a comment and you will be entered automatically free. Okay, so let's get let's get started making our um, kit here. So the, the cups, these cups, the box, um, the paper, um, and even the mosaic uh, cello paper that I'm using are all available in my online store, but the cups in the, um, you can see the holder here, the cups, the holders, the stars, all of that are part of the heartwarming hug suite. So that's kind of neat, right? Like that, it's all, it all coordinates together. I love when things match. I am a big fan of the matchy matchy. So I'm going to start with the box. What do you guys think? I mean, I think we can go either way there, but let's start with the box. We got some of that designer series paper. I have two strips, two 12 by 12 strips. I do have those measurements um, on the, oops, Wikipedia. I am throwing stamp and seal around in the background. Okay, so I'm taking stamp and seal plus just because it's a little bit stronger than the regular seal and because I just threw my seal on the ground. <laughs> so I'm just gonna line that up on the box. And when we hit this bend, and actually, you know what, it might even be easier if we put the box together. It's a super, super easy assembly here. Let's pop that bottom in. Okay. So uh, when we hit that bend, we're gonna take that bone folder back and just put a little crease there so it's a nice, nice thick crease. Okay. So we've got, we're almost all the way there. Now we need the two, um, to make it all the way around. They're just 12 by 12 strips and they're super, you know, like I said, super easy. So let's go ahead and um, I want to line it up so it's straight. So I'm using that previous one as a guide. And this is a great way to decorate anything. And actually on this last one, Adhesive there. This last one, I'm going to cut it, I think, right at that end. Unless it lines up perfect. Eh, actually, it's a pretty good line up there. Maybe I'll just leave it. If it didn't line up perfectly, I might cut it right at the end. But that seems like I actually did a really good job on that one. <laughs> there we go. You can't even see it. It is it is hidden right in that, uh, right in those um, stripes. Okay, so uh, now I've got this is. Um, mossy meadow striped um, ribbon and again this is all part of that it all comes in that suite but everything's available individually everything in that suite is available and oh thank you guys I love the hearts you guys rock I did want to put a little bit of adhesive now I'm gonna to have to bend down and get that seal that I just threw on the ground um, I did want to put a little bit of adhesive on here just to kind of hold it in place I don't need a ton because, I mean, once you, once you tie it on there, it's going to stay in place anyway. Just a little bit here. Okay, now before I go and tie my second knot, actually maybe even before I do that, there is one more thing I'm going to bring in here. Oh my gosh, I'm just throwing stuff around left and right. Forgive me. <laughs> I have a little hole next to my... Uh, next to my desk and every time I push something to the side everything seems to go down that little rabbit hole. All right, so These are uh, glitter star ornaments. They also match that sweet. They're really fun. I'm going to put them on the cups too so everything matchy matches. Um, they're already tied like this but I think that that tie is too long so I'm going to actually tie it up a little bit tighter because I don't want it to hang quite I don't want it to hang down quite so low on this project. On another project that might be okay. Okay, so back to here, we're gonna go ahead and tie that. And I'll just string that right in that ribbon there. Maybe I will probably cut that piece of ribbon a little bit too long, but that's okay. Because I will use the excess on another project. I don't know about you guys, but I don't like to waste any of those extra pieces. Save it all, right? All right, so then we'll just tie that in a knot. 
this is a really fun this hot cocoa for two gift idea is really fun um you know just for a little something special you've got the the neighbors that you want to give gifts to or you know you just want to do something a little bit um special with those gift certificates this is a great great idea for that okay so next i'm going to take some candy canes and attach those to the front i wanted to attach them together first before i attach them to the front oh boy, so i uh, i threw one of my my seal pluses on the ground and I can only find half of it now so we're just going to continue on with these projects just using regular seal Oops, broke that candy cane so i kind of tied them together just so that they're not flopping around so i can tie this um, red twine around a red braided ribbon around the front just made it a little bit easier to control them while tying oh thanks you guys i'm glad you guys love these i really had a lot of fun playing with it when i was designing for the breast cancer I was just like, at first I made the card and then I was like, well, I can't stop here. I want to, <laughs> I want to make a gift set to match it. And then it just, I, I, you know, you know, when you get into something and you're just having so much fun that, you know, you just don't want to stop. So that's where I was at. Uh, let's use regular sized uh, dimensionals. I'm going to stick them kind of right in the middle here. And that will hold the um, candy canes on. Go ahead and put that. Oh. I've got a dimensional that wants to stick more to my finger than the box. There we go. Out. And our box is ready for our cup treat boxes. Okay, so let's get into that we are going to um, we're going to take two of these cups and decorate them so first thing i want to do is i'm going to go back to those dies the dies that we used in the beginning and those are the, the warm wrap dies and we're going to cut out um, a couple of pieces to make it all the way around the cup so these were actually made to go together which is cool Okay, so what I did was I cut two of each of those, um, they're like little decorative scallop toppers, and two each of whatever designer series paper you wanted for the wrap itself. And normally I would recommend doing either seal or liquid glue for this portion of the show, um, but I just threw my seal plus on the ground so we're going to use regular seal and i'm going to have to reinforce it later because i don't think regular seal is going to be strong enough although maybe when we tie the ribbon on it it'll be okay so i'm going to go ahead and take the tab put some adhesive on the top of the tab and stick those together oh awesome i love hearing that okay melissa she's going to go start making these today you know what but you know what if you're here in the northeast like me all of a sudden like we thought we had a few more weeks of fall and la yesterday just kind of squashed that with all the snow we just got. And that just means that our outdoor activities kind of, a lot of them got postponed or canceled. And um, so that means we're going to have a lot more stamp time on our hands. So I just put adhesive on the top edge of this and um, put those, you can see them a little bit better over the white, put the scallop strips on that. So we're going to go ahead and do that again on the bottom part. If you're a fan of the liquid glue, you can use that as well. Okay, so the, the bends, there's two of these scallop dies that come in the set. One bends one way and one bends the opposite way. So one goes on the top and one goes on the bottom. And you'll, you'll see that instantly as you, when you cut them and you want two of each. And again, I would use liquid glue or seal plus for this part. Bear with me. Okay, so just make sure you got a little bit on that tab. I'm going to start with that tab. And I'm going to put it right here on the, the seam of the cup. Uh, in the middle, but I, I did go a hair down from the middle. And 
before I, I press down too tightly, I want to make sure that it's wrapped up uh, evenly. So we have a nice, super easy, right? Super cute, super fun. And then we'll take some more of that green ribbon and we'll cut just enough of that around. And this may actually hold it on, even though I didn't use the stronger adhesive, this might hold it on for me. How much snow do we get? That's a good question. I'm not a very good judge of snow, but it was a lot more than I thought we were gonna get. <laughs> I'm gonna say, in the end, I think we probably got about six to eight inches. I, I thought we were just going to get like a few flurries and it was going to be cute because it was Halloween and then it didn't stop and the roads were all bad and I was like, what's happening? Wait a minute. It's October. What's going on? Okay. So we have just tied a little knot there. I'll just trim off the edges and then we're going to go ahead and make a tag exactly like I did with the card. So if you popped in late, you can um, go back and watch the beginning and I'll show you how to make these little uh, tags because I put them on both the uh, the cups and the card. And I'm gonna attach that with some Stampin' Dimensionals. I'm gonna go ahead and put that right. Actually, maybe not that seam. I was gonna say, whoops, stop. This is why I put adhesive on the ribbon so they don't slide around. But I like being around. If you cover up right there, you don't see that seam. hair and then boom seam is hidden you have an adorable little gift cup and these gift cups they do come with lids so you can like actually put you know drinks in it if you wanted to so you get a stack of lids you get a stack of car uh, cups with it so it's like a nice little gift set there and then these mosaic bags are also available in my online store so i took um i'm just taking swiss miss hot cocoa you know what, if you have a friend that has a, a K-cup machine, you can put K-cups in there, you can put coffee in there, you can do all different things, but I do love the hot cocoa idea. I just think that's perfect for this time of year, especially here in my area. So I'm gonna put those in the baggie. I did bend down the top of these particular packets because they stood up a little bit tall. And then I'm gonna take a little bit more of that braided ribbon and we'll tie the top of the baggie together. Oops. I'm also going to put one of those stars on it and I again want the star to be a little bit um, not quite that much of a loop. I don't want it to hang down quite that far so I'm going to make a second knot in there so that it's a little bit hangs a little bit lower. There we go. Off the top of that. So let's tie that around the top. And the cup just wants to roll all over the desk so we'll move that. that in tight and then string that that star right on there so you got your little star hanging down and then you can finish with a knot or a bow whatever you feel like doing so we've got our little packet you're going to do the exact same thing uh, with the marshmallows, you can do the same or a different pattern um, in the cup. I did a different one because then they were kind of fun. They match together and then they go right into our little holder, a treat holder. Again, you can get all of that in my online store. And our set is complete. Super, super cute. And we've got matching cards to go with it. Matchy, matchy. Because you know I love matchy, matchy. <laughs> all right i hope you absolutely love that don't forget this card is part of a bigger project there is a ginormous uh four in fact collections of um of car tutorials from our stamp it uh stamp out breast cancer uh team that we normally have a big event with this year we're doing it online so you're gonna get lots of inspiration with that i also have if you go to my blog you will get all of this information holiday helper absolutely free 18 days of christmas so if you love this idea and want more ideas to make for the holidays you are going to want to sign up for my holiday helper this is absolutely free 
and there are you're going to get one a day for 18 days free tutorials of holiday projects to make for your friends and family and uh Monday is the last day to, to purchase my Curvy Celebrations Bundle Special Order Kit. I put together a special kit for that. And today is the last day of the um, designer paper sale. And the heartwarming hugs that we use today is part of that designer series paper. And last but not least, this is um, my Stamp It Demonstrator Group's blog hop. So don't forget right now, right now, pop on over to stampitambi.com, click on the link in that resource page and take that that blog hub tour and get all of those awesome fall and Christmas ideas. Today is a day for inspiration. So hope that hopefully you get lots of it um, with all of these things going on today on my blog. And um, I hope you have a wonderful weekend and we will see you next week. Thanks for joining me today.